Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma. thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our Switch Lake campaign in Europe Universe House 4. We're killing three times as many troops as we're losing right now. Oh, that is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Zero versus a nine in the shock phase. Ouch. Painful. Um, I think we're going to retreat to the mountains here. We're obviously going to lose this fight. Um, our front line is damaged. 700 troops in the front. He's got some cannons up here, though. I guess we're about equal. I just I feel like we're we're missing out. While we have a positive roll, I think we'll keep the fight. No, we're definitely not doing another bad shock phase. Let's get out of there. So we did lose like 7,000 troops to his 6,000 some troops, which is, that's, un that's unfortunate. But, um, you know, France is coming. 50k stack. And we had the manpower to spare, so why not, right? We'll go ahead and move in if we have any troops that are not totally damaged. Do I really have two guys with two siege value? Nice. A 2-3-0-2 two, two, or 3-1-2-2. Two, two. I think I'd prefer to use the 2-3. No, 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 no. Stay out of press. Oh, he's going to press. Okay. Don't come up here. No, he's coming up there. What the hell, man? Get out of here. That attrition is unacceptable. Regency in Austria, they've been re-elected. He has a 15-year Regency. Wow. Got troops coming out right now. Let's go kill those. Now we know Venice is going to come back. I think we're reinforced well enough that we can keep this stack here. Let's let's see. Got a four bonus on that. Let's go ahead and split and then drop the calf. Sorry. Split, grab the opposite army, drop the cannons, move the remainder off. This army will pull back for now. Don't appreciate what he's doing up here. I'm up being a little bit timid up here. Nice work there on Milan. I like the breached walls. Morale of Army sucks. Obviously we squished that with an instant squish. We lost one of our non-siege generals, so who cares. Let's get that back. We've already got Milan. Excellent work. France, I love you. I love you a little bit, except for when you're doing that call for peace nonsense that you had done before. He's attacking into the hills. Doesn't even matter. He stack wiped it instantly because he had overrun. 10, 10 to 1 ratio. That is very nice. He's chasing this army around. Which is most likely coming for me. We'll probably retreat this army behind a fort. Which, of course, the AI is going to cheat and ignore. Of course he would, right? Gonna head all the way back up into Wallace. Don't appreciate these little one stacks sieging down my stuff. It's kind of annoying. War score is okay. He still controls Piedmont, but we're about to take it. We'll get our ticking war score. Luckily, we'll see land. Okay. So, Mantua just got a little bit bigger. We do have another mountainous fort here. I'd like to get this siege started as well. We have no cannons available for it right now, but we have a second two siege leaders, so. Might as well get this guy started, right? France is again doing a lot of work for us. We appreciate it, Big Blue Blob. That's your job, right? Can't get there. Taking Piedmont, excellent. Let's take our cannons and get them down there now.
Two diplomats free. Let's improve relations with a few people because I know we are going to have issues with the coalition. Let's actually, you know, let's keep one diplomat for free for a second. Let's go see what this coalition is going to look like. It's not bad. It's just Burgundy, Lorraine, Milan, and Savoy. Savoy doesn't matter because we're going to have a truce. Burgundy. Burgundy and Lorraine. Okay. I'll try to keep him out of it. So to actually do the peace deal, it's going to only cost us about 46% war score, so call it maybe 40. I'm not going to be able to do the Humiliate, but we're going to take so much land, we'll probably be totally fine on power projection for quite a while. Looks like we're going to be doing just fine on Coring. We're still allied to the Emperor, so he's not going to care about the fact that we took the land. Hopefully he doesn't come near me with that. We're in the mountains. He's not going to want to fight us, I think. But, you never know. Siege ability! Absolutely. Have you gone up to tech 8? You have not. Good. I love positive siege ability. Swiss siege ability minus 20%. Repel the French. You suck. <laughs> I'm not the French. So this guy's got uh, a couple ideas out of the way, so he's got repel the French already. It's his very first national idea. And of course the mountains are slowing us down, but it still makes a difference. It's equivalent. Whether he's at 50% defensiveness or not, 20% bonus siege ability is still going to save you 6 days. So, it's going to save you 20% of the base, which is 30. So, guaranteed 6 day faster sieges. Milan no longer considers him to be a rival, he's rivaled Venice instead. I'm liking that we're weakening France so much in this war. He is, he is really going all out. Like, his participation, 81%. He's lost a lot of troops. He deserves it, too, because he's a jerk. He made me get six war exhaustion because he just didn't want to peace out. You didn't see it, but it did happen. All right? You gotta believe me on that. Development cost reduction is kind of cool. Oasis of peace and prosperity. Yeah, that sounds like us. I agree. This is ridiculous. This is, this is dumb. A 5-1 attacking a 4-4 with a negative 3 penalty. You're seriously attacking with a 2, negative 2 general. Of course, he rolls a 9 against Francis 0, so... It's kind of not doing that bad for him, but... Statistically, that's not going to work out for him in the long run, right? The siege is taking a surprisingly long time, considering our bonuses. Most likely we're going to be training up another two to four cannons after this war with our increased force limit from these new acquisitions. I feel good about the front line, but I'd like to have probably ten cannons at this point would be great. We're not really to the point where we can start printing, printing stacks. First off, let's wipe that army. So we take no losses. We'll come down here, let's detach one infantry to do the siege. Now we have 22 troops, we'll go stack wipe this instantly. We'll leave again behind one troop. Other way around, thank you. Don't like the attrition. We don't have anyone with higher maneuver, though. We can get out of this province before the end of the month, though. But that's actually going to probably cost us more attrition, isn't it? Yeah. Oops, I just cost myself more attrition. Now we're suffering 1%. Well, we could cancel this siege, but no. At this point, let's just finish it. We have plenty of war score. Again, what's up with this? Oh my gosh, a 0-4 with a negative 2 penalty. Okay, he's only using his 2-1 leader, but... Dude, come on. That That's not smart. It's 
Squish. Die, infantry, die. So we don't need any more actual occupation, I think. I think we're pretty close to just being able to do this deal. Let's wait till January 1st, pull back both diplomats. Check to see who's gonna be pissed. Alright, it's just Lorraine. Who cares about Lorraine? They're already in the war. We have no occupation, no war score against them. Nope, that's not true. We have 99 war score. I didn't realize he had done that already. Well, good job, dude. Um, no. War reps enforce military access? Sure, I mean, I'll take the 0. .6 prestige. Why not, right? And then from there... We're going to gain 26 power projection. That's plenty for now, I think. I do want to get war reps, war reps, since we're not taking any of this guy's land. I do at least want war reps. I mean, we're very close. There we go, he's actually, he's willing to do it right now. Yeah, let's just take it. Sounds great. With the backing of the members of the Holy Roman Empire, the Emperor has decided to go through with the first reform. Okay. We're gonna ditch this fort. I think forts are unnecessary. That's gonna be the way we play this for now. We'll go ahead and start immediately coring. Park half the army in both provinces. We'll improve relations with Lorraine. Actually, first off, first thing we want to do is cancel the military access. And from here, I think we want to improve relations with a few people nearby. This land will become accepted pretty quickly. As soon as the cores are done. And we've already gained five force limit from that, which is fantastic. So we're going to just train up two more cannons for each army. Now, the question is... Yeah, I had a feeling this might happen. We need to give some more land to one of these guys. And they're both pretty good trade goods. Um, let's see, if we gave this one... You would have 70% influence. Be very loyal. Get a little bit of a development cost reduction. I think we're ahead of time by a lot on Diplo, so I'd like to do some development. Just still 32 development, that's so much. I think, I think we want to keep the 32 development probably for ourselves. Let's give this one to the to the burgers. Ah shoot, that's only gonna take their influence up their loyalty up to 57. Is there anything else we can do? Can we get you a little bit higher? Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give this. I mean, it's a really valuable province, but I'm just gonna give it to him. And the unrest is not even that big of a deal. Positive stability. Even with only 34 Republican tradition, we have a little bit of a negative there. Republican cultural sufferance. I also like the fact that we start off with minus five years of nationalism, or separatism, I guess, as it's called here. Okay, 69 power projection is pretty good. Um, reduce overextension is a great mission for us right now. Protect against Venice, have 25 troops. Right now we have 23. Land maintenance for 10 years. Save us a little bit of money. Uh, we could probably take both missions. I mean, we're training, training four troops right now, so... Get this mission done in three months and then hopefully still be able to take the reduce overextension mission. So, 
Well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of development while we have the modifiers, right? Burgers are loyal right now. They have a lot of influence. Minus 10% development cost. We're gonna again go ahead and just do the do the cheap ones. Hopefully, it's not gonna throw the rate the the ratios off on uh, loyalty. Grain is not something I really want to develop. We're gonna go all the way down to like 200 points. Fine, we'll improve grain by one just for the building slot. And hopefully that means we're not gonna have any issue over the next 10 years. Now, admin points, we should probably do as well, because again, we are gonna be wanting to take land, but we're right up against the aggressive expansion limit again. With a lot of countries, so we got to be a little bit cautious there. Just a little bit of admin development. I mean, there's no, there's no real inflation to buy down right now. We don't need to worry about stability right now, and we are nine years ahead of time there as well. So yeah, we should go down to 200 admin on development. We'll bump up Charlie. I don't know. The autonomy is kind of crap there, actually. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's the cheapest one. So Charolais, man, that, that province is getting some serious love. 20 development? It's not bad. And as expected, Savoy's no longer a valid rival. Excellent. That's actually really good, because that means we can pick someone new, like... our allies. <laughs> uh, thanks, game. Well, we've eclipsed somebody. I have a feeling France might turn on me at some point in the near future. Just fine, because we want to eat the blob. As long as, I mean, if he's allied with, with Austria, then I don't really want to be enemies with him, but... Who knows, we'll see. We might all be done, be all done with rivalry for a while. Milanese separatists on both provinces. Mines! Continuing to be a jerk. Reduce overextension? No. Rival of a rival. Make Bohemia like us yet again. It can be done. It can be done. There goes poor uniforms, so our morale's back up. Yeah, I think, um, I think I wouldn't mind going Protestant. However, I, I'm also kind of tempted to just stay Catholic and get the free stability. One thing I definitely do not want to do is devolve into like a despotic, whatever it's called, the, the thing where you kind of lose your Republic status. Likely, reactionaries will rise up to restore despotism. Yeah. I mean, as long as this guy's alive, we're gonna keep on re-electing him. He's a 666 right now, for crying out loud. He's not gonna live much longer, though. I mean, his death chance is pretty darn high. Still, we're doing a good job. How many provinces do we own so far? Only 16. So, we've got a long way to go for Switzer Lake, right? I mean, <laughs> you need 99 provinces. And a port ain't one. So it's gonna be a while, is what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much, yep. We'll go ahead and build this thing here now. Ooh, we have a point one six, couple point one sixes there. The development's doing its job, cool. Can we revoke any territory from anybody now? Like, I know we just granted this province to Milan, but we might possibly be able to get away with stealing some of this land back now. They'll stay within the right range, and these are our two of our initial provinces, so it'd be great to get that extra 25% of 13 development back under our control. I mean, all this guy's really giving us is local trade power we don't care about. The local goods produced, don't even really care about that either. We'd make way more money having the land directly in our control. So yeah. I think we're going to continue to try to, to give them the crappy territory and hold the good territory for ourselves.
this province is still too high on autonomy though, to make it work worthwhile. We can even take two. No. They expect to control 20%, so if I took this, it would take them down to 19.3. We can't take that yet. Need to expand more first. Here goes our hired theologian. He lasted a long time. Clergy, can I have a, another guy? Or perhaps we hire a minister from here. Don't care about that. I think we do want the theologian. Level 2 cheap theologian. Thank you. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. See you soon.